Hey guys, it's Matt from all over the lake. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make morel mushrooms. There's a bunch of different ways to make them, and uh, I might show you a couple different ways. So, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start by cutting them in half. So after we find them, we like to slice them up. We're gonna leave them soaking in the sink to get all the little bugs and stuff out of them. I like to store mine uh, whole. I really don't like to put them in a Ziploc bag sealed up. I like to let the things breathe. So we're gonna let them soak in the sink and then we're gonna rinse them off one more time and we'll get the batter made. All right, I got some eggs here and I'm gonna beat them up. Gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm gonna mix the milk in. I got a pro fry. It's a lot of work to try to get your grease up to 375, so I like this little fryer. I suggest getting one of them. I think it costs me like 50 bucks, and I can just leave my grease set to what I want. I can watch TV come in, and it's the right temperature. Makes it nice and easy. So we got all of our, our mushrooms right here. And there's a multiple ways to do them. So we're gonna start off in flour. And we're just gonna put a little flour on them. There you go, a little bit of flour. Shake off the excess, I'm gonna put them over here in the corner. All right, now I'm gonna take another handful and I'm gonna go in the egg. So we're gonna go egg. Let the extra egg drip off. Put them in the flour. Gonna let them soak and absorb up that flour. I'm gonna take another handful. Let that extra drip off. And roll them around in here and I'm just gonna let them soak, soak up that flour. I'm just gonna leave them in there for a bit. So, all right, then we're gonna take this last bit and I'm gonna put them in this cornmeal. We're using the Cajun fish fry. Or 375 so we're gonna start we're gonna take just the flour ones and drop them in take the fish fryer ones and drop them in and then we're gonna take these fellas shake up the extra flour and drop them in Out. look at that beautiful beautiful stuff going on right there they are coming along I looked at for the ones in the flour to kind of turn brown so they got probably a couple more minutes I think they fry for I don't know three four five minutes six minutes probably about five six seven minutes I just look for them to be nice and brown so I'm just gonna let them fry up here a little bit longer all right they're getting close to done I think I'm gonna give them a cut about another minute they've been in there I'd say about six seven minutes so far I'm gonna give them about another minute Look at that, folks. Yum, yum, yum. While they're still uh, sticky, I'm gonna put some salt. Salt them up. Pepper them up.
All right. Can't have morels without some ranch dressing. Some people do ketchup. You got some that I did in just flour only. So these are the just flour ones. Pretty crunchy. What do you think about the Cajun ones? Oh, those are good. These are typically my favorite, the egg battered ones. Yummy. And I've never tried them like this before, but I figured, heck, any kind of breading will work, so. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Dinner is served. All right, guys. Well, that's how we fry them up around here. Hope you guys liked the video. If you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see more of my content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.